has been ten minutes since I texted Zane. Still no response from him. I went on a business trip to a neighboring city for half a month. Zane promised to pick me up when I came back. I prepared to get off the train, lining up with other people. I tried to call Zane, but the phone line is busy. Thank you for traveling with us today. We hope to see you again soon. Still no answer. What is he up to? I see Zane leaning against his car in the distance as I head towards the station exit. He's engrossed in his phone, tapping away at the screen that passers-by can't help but be drawn to his handsome features and impressive physique. I quietly walk up to him. I'm back, Zane. Are you surprised? <laughs> I am. A lame reaction as always. Let's go. You'll become a tourist attraction if you stay here any longer. He opens the door for me and puts my suitcase in the trunk. You're early this time. Am I? The train arrived right on schedule. Don't you typically spend hours in the souvenir shop? I wanted to see you. I was awake for half a month after all. How have you been? I'm alright. Oh no, why is he not looking at me? Alright? Same as before. I've been working with quite a lot of patients. Anything else? Are you hoping to hear something specific? Well, you know, if two people have been apart for a while, won't they... Get used to being on their own? I'll stop talking. Keep your eyes on the road. Zane parks the car in front of my home. He takes my suitcase out of the trunk and hands it to me. I turn around and look straight into Zane's eyes. Would you like to... stay for a minute or two? So that I can thank you for giving me a ride. Hmm. He takes the suitcase out of my hand. Oh my gosh, did we just invite him to our house? <laughs> when we enter the elevator, I hear a soft chuckle from him. What's the matter? Don't you think your excuse was a bit clumsy? <gasps> oh no, he saw right through us. Who said it was an excuse? I do want to thank you. As the elevator door closes, silence falls between us again. I idly stare at our reflections on the elevator wall while we wait. I keep my mouth shut, wondering how long it will take for Zane to break the silence. How's work? I'm standing right here, aren't I? The weather in Chancho was nice for the last two weeks. That should have prevented you from catching a cold. How did you know the weather was nice? Simple. I added Chancha City to my weather app. But you weren't there. Why even bother? It didn't hurt not to. I guess, yeah. They silently follows me out of the elevator. I glance at him as I take out my keys. Are you sure this is okay? What if the hospital needs you? Girl, oh my god, just get him into your home. <laughs> you know what? I think I'll be... Just open the door. <gasps> oh my gosh. Zane sounds a little restless. I open the door and let him in. As soon as I turn around to close the door, Zane hugs me, oh my god, from behind. I can feel his warmth envelop me. You... Your wish was granted. What do you mean? You're not saying anything. What did you expect me to say? You already know? Turn around. Oh my god. What 
When I turned around, he wrapped his arms around me again. Who said to me that two people would get used to being by themselves or to not see each other for a while? I don't know. <sighs> you. You have selective memory as well. I care about you, but you don't remember. You care? I can tell. Zane holds me even tighter. I'm getting hungry. What about you? Order some takeout. Oh my gosh, his voice is so husky. I did in the car. It should arrive any minute. Hmm. Still holding me tight, Zane speaks into my ear in a low voice. My hand moves up and my arm brushes against his back. The doorbell rings, ruining the atmosphere. <laughs> we both glare at the door in irritation. Good evening! Delivery's here! Oh my gosh. The delivery person speaks from outside the room. Zane slowly lets go of me. His hand lingers on my hair for a few seconds. I'll get it. With my mind elsewhere, I eat my food. The TV program shows a lion searching for a mate. Then the scene on the screen prompts me to switch to another channel. Do you have any movies? Did you come here to watch movies? Why not? <sighs> they never watch movies, Zane. Fine. I pick up the remote and start browsing my recent movie purchases. This one sounds interesting. It's called Complete History of Neva University. Let's watch it. I play the movie and sit on the couch, pouting. Zane suddenly gets up. He walks to the light switch. <gasps> what are you doing? Don't you turn off the light when you watch a movie? <sighs> oh my god, this guy knows what he's doing. The light is off and the atmosphere in the room changes. He returns to the couch and sits next to me. The sunlight pours through the glass and falls between us like a barrier. The movie has started, but neither of us cares. We keep staring at each other. Oh my god. Why are you looking at me? Don't you want to watch the movie? I do. When I was gone, did you really get used to being on your own? If you are referring to my lifestyle before I met you, then yes, I had grown accustomed to it. Shifting my weight onto one knee, I move, and my arm reaches past him. Feeling Zane's arm around my waist, I reach for the string. I let down the blinds. What are you doing? I just wanted to close the blinds. So that we can watch the movie. <laughs> hey, eyes on the movie. Oh my gosh, he's so close. I can help but smirk. Just when I'm ready to accept his embrace, I hear another snap. We should close this one too. Zane sits back on the couch. Sitting in the darkness, I was captivated by Zane's gaze. Oh my gosh! He looks so good in this light! Do you have a question for me, Zane? What do you mean? Oh my gosh! How was your trip? Was it okay? Not at first. Then I slowly got used to it. Got used to being alone again. Right? Sure, but it's not... Indeed, it would become dull regardless. 
Oh my god, he looks so good. Those eyes. You've been staring at me. Like this, I can't see you now. Shh, be quiet. You wanted me to say something. Why did you act so normally at the station? I was disappointed. <gasps> oh my god. What did you want me to do in front of all those people? We haven't seen each other for a few days. Don't you miss me? The weather was nice there, and you responded to my messages. So you must have been fine. Now. Do you want to tell me something? I missed you. Why did you turn off the TV? Are we really here for a movie? Isn't that what you want? I've changed my mind now. Oh my Is God. that okay? <laughs>